Hello, my name is Heather. I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to show you how to make a journal using this little bag. I received this bag at my hair salon. Um, it just has two little uh, ropes on each side. And it almost looks like a little purse, really. And here is what we're going to create. It's got a little hitch fastener, some embellishments, a Mrs. Cog's image, lots of pretty coffee dyed paper, a tag in the front. There's three signatures and envelopes in each signature. and a little bag with a uh, homemade journaling card. And this is a sweet little journal that I made out of a little bag. And I'm gonna show you how to create it. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here's the bag. I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut straight down the middle of each side. Then at the bottom I'm just going to clip each piece so that the bag will open. So now I have the bag completely open. I'm just going to trim the top where my spine is, make that clean that up a little bit. I'm going to cut these flaps down just a little bit. They don't need to be that big. It already has a nice um, piece of cardboard spine, so that's good. I'm going to glue these flaps down with Fabri-Tac glue. And it's kind of a heavy paper, so I'm just clipping them down so that until the glue dries. Okay, so the next step is I cut two pieces of chipboard that will fit the inside covers of the journal. And I'm just gonna do some simple collage on top of the chipboard. And I use chipboard because I want it to be strong so it will make the cover strong. Okay, so the next step is I got a piece of fabric and some Fabri-Tac glue, and I'm gonna glue that down on the spine. And then I'm gonna take my two collage pieces of chipboard and put them on each side of the journal. And I'm putting them down with Fabri-Tac glue.
You could really do this project with any bag that has two handles. Uh, it doesn't have to be this specific bag. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. And now we're gonna decorate the cover. And I love that black and white scribbly um, bees that are on the bag. So I'm just gonna leave the bag as is and embellish on it. And I have a piece of burlap that I'm putting down with Fabri-Tac glue. And then I have this beautiful image from Mrs. Cog's gallery. And I believe this is like Sunday morning magazine something. I will put it in the description box. And then I have this sweet little flower and I'm going to put this on the cover as well. Okay, so the next step is to sew in your signatures, and we have three, so I'm just gonna go over one with you. You're going to punch three holes in your paper. And then you're going to punch three holes into your spine. I just kind of eyeball it. I don't measure it. I don't mind if it's a little off, but if you do, you are more than welcome to measure it. You go in through the middle, up through the top hole, back into the middle, and up through the bottom hole. Tie a good knot, and you got it. You're going to do that with all three signatures. Okay, and then I put a piece of fabric on the spine on the outside and that's totally optional. I'm just going to take a little piece of fabric and then glue it on both sides and wait until it's dry and then you have this cool little closure for your envelope. And I'm going to do that for all three envelopes. Then the next step, you're going to need your crocodile. I'm going to punch a hole. Then I'm going to flip my book completely like backwards so I can put a little dot where um, my other hole is so they will be even. Then I'm going to put an eyelid in there. 
and then use my crocodile. Okay, for the front, I have a hitch fastener. These are by Tim Holtz. And I will have a supply list along with Amazon links if you guys are interested in any of these products. Then just get a little hairband and loop it through the back hole. And voila, you have a cool closure. To me, this looks like a little purse. It's so cute. Okay, so I have this little pocket that I'm gonna glue on the front. This is a great place to write, you know, when you started your journal and when you finished your journal. I'm using Fabri-Tac glue to glue it down. Okay, and the next thing is I'm gonna make a journaling card for this journal, and I have a little piece of book page, and I'm just gonna do some simple collage on the front. And then on the back of the card, I'm just going to do coffee dyed paper, ledger paper. I'm just using scraps. And I'm using all plain type papers. That way it could be journaled on. The next step is to put your washi sticker down. And then this is a Tracy Fox label. Very simple little journaling card, but precious. Okay, and here is the final journal. This beautiful Mrs. Cog's image on the front, the fabric on the side, and there is my baby. Little hitch fastener on the front. Little tag in the front little pocket and I just used ledger paper, coffee dyed paper, Tim Holtz paper, avocado dyed paper, I'm trying to think of all the different papers that I used. Put a little bag in there and here's where the little journaling card is. So sweet. And that is the journal. So fun, so sweet, and easy to make with the bag that you have around the house. 
I hope this inspires you to create a journal using bags that you have around the house. There will be a supply list and Amazon links in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!